How is it going? Utara here, and I'm making this video because a lot of people have been asking me about Armor 2 DayZ mod, uh, and a lot of people have been asking me how to get the game, where to get it, and how to install it. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of what you need to do, where you need to go, and what you need to download, and where you need to put those files, and all that shit. So, as you can see, I'm on Steam Store right now, and this is all you need to buy. It is Armor 2 Combined Operations. It basically comes with Armor 2, the game, and Armor 2 uh, Operation Arrowhead, which is like a DLC type package that you download later, or it's a full game. I'm not sure because I haven't played these games. I've dabbled in a bit, but I'm more focused on the DayZ itself. Now, once you buy this game, it's 15 gigabytes itself because you, down uh, you download two games, which are like 8 gigabytes each. So, depending on your connection, it'll take however long it will take. It took me like a couple of days because I got shit connection. Anyway, once you've bought that, you can go ahead and you can go to the daisymod.com uh, website. And here you'll find anything you need to know about Daisy, uh, news, forums, uh, leaderboards, contact the team if you need anything, but chances are you're not going to get anything anyway because they're so fucking busy right now. And as you can see, right now, there has been an update uh, from 1.5.6 to 1.5.7 and up here this top says average life expectancy is 30 minutes this is because the game has just radically changed it's become really fucking difficult to play now since the new mod because uh, the new update because there are uh, way more zombies and um, it's really fucking hard to survive so anyway enough about that because we're not talking about this Right, what you want to do now is you want to go here to the top, download DayZ, alpha test, boom. And then whichever one is easy for you, this is Sweden for me, I'm assuming. And then you want to download, you just want to click all of these, starting from animation, code, equip, sound effects, uh, version, vehicles, and the weapons. This, however, these are the old files here, and this is just changelog, which tells you what's been updated and what you need to know about those updates, and what's been fixed, what's been altered, basically giving you a rundown of all the things that have been changed that you need to know about. It's pretty important that you check this. I check it like every couple of days just in case I come across like a new update or I'm looking for uh, uh, something that's changed. All right, next. This is what I use. A lot of other people don't. I'll give you the link to the video down below and obviously a link to all the files and the websites and the links and shit down below to where I figured this out. But this is what I use to launch my game um, and all you need to do is just download from FTP uh, 1 and uh, once you've got that downloaded you will get something like this uh, where is it mine's already up okay now this is just a place where you can put all your mods and stuff and I'll go into that in a minute because first I need to show you where the mods go okay now we're here in your hard drive area and pretty much it's pretty simple where you need to put your mod files you need to go to your Steam folder, which mine is located here. Steam apps, common, armor 2, and armor operation arrowhead. Now, the common mistake people are having is that they're putting their mod files into the armor 2 because they think that it's based on the game, so it derives direct from that game. That's incorrect when you use this launcher. That may be correct with other launchers, but this one, you need to put it into arrowhead. And what you need to do is as you can see here at the top, I, there's a folder there, and it's called at DayZ. That isn't there initially. You need to create that, and it needs to look exactly like that. It needs to say at DayZ, and that is it. That's all you need it to say, nothing else. And in that is this, and it needs to say, ex again, exactly that, capital A, D-D-O-N-S, add-ons. And that is where you put all of your files, okay? The ones from the mod... Uh, the mod list, that is where you put all of the files, and then you are set. Now, what we do next is we go to our launcher, and we need to go over a couple of things that need to be done. So, we go to the launch options, you make sure that no splash screen and default world is set to empty, and just make sure those are checked. And Armor 2 executable location is set to your Armor 2 directory, which is uh, here for me. 
and you just double click on your armor 2 like that and the same for armor uh, 2 operation arrowhead boom that's done and then make sure that your game version is armor 2 co you don't want it on anything else because if it's on anything else it won't work and I'm pretty sure that's it this is basically ideal if you have a lot of mods because then you can just quickly load up that mod but it's it's also the the way I did it but it's it's I haven't had any errors I've heard lots of people have had errors whilst they've been trying to do it okay so now you want to see uh, you want to have a group added here which is if it's not already there you can just add group and then now that uh, your available add-on the daisy mod is there you need to all you need to do is just drag it over and put it in the group and then check it and then click play online in the bottom and then click start game and it'll do this and we'll just double check to make sure everything's working fine which it should be whenever it loads it should load any second and there you have it so you can see on the right here it says armor 2 at day z you just want to make sure to click on expansions that that is there click ok and then go to multiplayer and here you go these are all the servers as you can see most of them are full and you want to join one that's a 1.5.7 with the files that you've downloaded and there you go that's it pretty much uh, if I've missed anything out whoops um, I'll give a link to the video that I used in the description um, and a link to all the stuff that you need to download and I hope this was helpful uh, because I've seen a lot of people asking me and a lot of people have been troubled so here you go thanks for watching the video I hope to play DZ with you soon Get the fuck out of here and get on my level.